thinking Dan or Dave and I, Floyd. I was a long ways off there. Amen. Don't throw anything at me. Good to have you back with us this morning. Hope your wife is doing all right. Family's doing well. All right. Good to see you. How about we dig into God's Word this morning? Now, if you weren't here Thursday night, uh, Thursday night I preached about the mercy of the shepherd. And one thing I find about God and His Word is a well-balanced meal. And I believe that God's Word is not to just always be promises and it's not always to be rebuke, but it's a balance of the things that God would say to us to get our attention. Maybe you're here this morning. God would like to get your attention. Matthew chapter 11, you stand to your feet for the reading of God's Word, beginning at verse number 16. I desire your prayer this morning. The Lord will help me to just deliver this the way He'd have me to. I'm going to try and preach this a little different this morning, taking my time and uh, just share what the Lord's put on our heart. This is a very, very serious message for our generation. Beginning at verse number 16, this is what the Lord said. But whereunto shall I liken this generation? It is like children sitting in the markets, calling unto their fellows, saying, We've piped unto you, and you have not danced. We have mourned unto you, and you have not lamented. For John came neither eating nor drinking. They say he hath a devil. The son of man came eating and drinking. They say, Behold, a man gluttonous, wine bibber, friend of publicans and sinners. Wisdom is justified of her children. Then began he to upbraid the cities where most of his mighty works were done. Why? Because they repented not. Look at verse 21. Woe unto thee, Chorazin! Exclamation mark. Woe unto thee, Bethsaida! Another exclamation mark. For if the mighty works which were done in you had been done in Tyre and Sidon, they would have repented long ago, sackcloth and ashes. But I say unto you, it shall be more tolerable for Tyre and Sidon, the day of judgment, than for you. That's pretty scary. Thou Capernaum, which are exalted unto heaven, shall be brought down to hell. For if the mighty works which have been done in thee had been done in Sodom, it would have remained until this day. Well, that's, that's big. But I say unto you that it shall be more tolerable for the land of Sodom the day of judgment than for thee. I don't know if that does in you what it does in me, but it concerns me because Sodom and Gomorrah was destroyed with fire. And yet the Lord says, it shall be more tolerable for the land of Sodom the day of judgment for thee, people he was talking to, that chose to turn their ears away from him. And the reason why he said all of this was simply because they repented not. Great, mighty works that he had done in these cities. The Bible said he began to upbraid them. He began to admonish 
because of all the great things he had done, yet they still refused to repent. I want to preach this morning with the help of the Lord, ears that won't listen. Ears that won't listen. Stretch your hand to the Lord this morning. Let's pray for the help of the Lord. Father, this morning we appreciate the Word of God. We ask you that you'll talk to us. Lord, we need your Word. I pray, God, that you'll get our attention. God, help us to put every excuse aside and serve you with every part of our soul, mind, strength, and body. And we'll give you praise for what you do. And everyone can say amen. You can be seated in the presence of the Lord. As I began to study, I come across another portion of the Word of God. And I felt I could use this as a subtext. Psalm chapter number 81 and verse number 10. The Bible says this. This is God talking to you and me. He says, I am the Lord thy God, which brought thee out of the land of Egypt, 